हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ केम्ब्रिज प्राइमरी चेक पॉइंट मैथमेटिक्स पेपर टू फ्रॉम अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सीरीज राइट सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डन कवर्ड फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन वन टू इलेवन इन दिस विद वीडियो वी विल डू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू गाइज टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स so let's start question number 12 here here is a trapezium on a square grid so you can see this trapezium the trapezium is translated three squares left and two squares down so we can choose any point let's say i'm choosing this point here uh, so three squares left so one two then three squares left and two squares down one and two so this point came over here so then there are three lines here so we can join then in the middle here this point then you just draw this line over here like this okay so that's it uh, now mia thinks of a number uh, she rounds it to the nearest 100 uh, her answer is 3600 so 3600 Uh, what is the smallest number Mia could have chosen? So from here we are looking for the number. Let's say we have uh, this is three thousand six hundred. So six hundred and fifty uh, is going to up there, but we need the lower one. So we will take five hundred and uh, uh, let's say six. 60 if i'm taking this one so when you round it to the uh, 100 one stands 100 this is going to be 3600 right now we can take another possibility here 5 then here is 50 again when you round this off this will become uh, 3600 and uh, 600 so if i'm taking 3540 then this will become 3500 but that is not the case so this is going to be our answer 3550 question 14 here we have some pretty diagram uh, so star triangle and this smiley face represent even numbers they all are even numbers so star times triangle is 24 and then this is equal to triangle now this gives us a clue 24 uh, there are two possibilities 2 times 12 and 6 times 4 right so 2 times 12 these they all should be even number so this is even this is even so these are two of them so let's say which one will work so if i take here 2 times 12 that is 24 and uh, then uh, or and uh, there will be 6 times 4 uh, or 4 times 6 right uh, so let's say if this is 2 then this is 2 and this supposed to be then triangle if it is 12 so 2 times 6 is 12 right but 2 times 6 is 12 yes so 2 times 6 is 12 and it's working for this 2 times 12 equals to 24 so that means this smiley is a number 6 right now here are four shapes you can see a b c d and uh, they each have different number of acute angles so that means there are different angles uh, out of that some are acute uh, write the letter of each shape in the correct order one has been done for you uh, so this is least and this is most number of acute angles so we have different acute angles here let's see how many they are uh, like for the shape a for shape a we have one acute angle here this is obtuse and this is acute acute angle is less than 90 uh, so a has two acute angles right then b b has this is bigger this is acute 1 2 and 3 there are three acute angles in b and c uh, you see there is no acute angle 0 and d there is only one here so the least number is c here after that it will come d then uh, this is with 2 that is a and maximum number is for b right 
Now we have number 16 question here. Here is a rectangle made of squares. Each square is 2.3 cm long. So this is each square is this is 2.3 cm long. Write down the length of the rectangle. This is the length. So how many squares do we have along this side? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So 2.3 cm times 6. So that means this is 13.8 when you multiply. So this length is 13.8 centimeters, right? Now number 17, here is a bag with 10 balls numbered from 1 to 10. Uh, Mike takes one ball out of the bag without looking. Draw lines um, to show how likely these outcomes are. So we have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 right so these are the outcomes draw a line to show how likely these outcomes are uh, so first one is a number greater than 0 now if you see all the numbers are greater than 0 so that means that is uh, not impossible like unlikely even likely so this is certain so definitely you are going to get a number greater than uh, 0 5 or more 5 or more including 5 from here to here so out of 10 we have 6 outcomes so that is uh, likely right a square number on uh, we have square number 1 4 and um, then 9 square numbers are the numbers like 1 square is 1 uh, then 4 can be written as 2 squared and 9 can be written as 3 squared. So 1, 4 and 9 are square. So uh, 3 out of them are uh, square numbers. So this is unlikely. Right. Uh, a multiple of 2. Multiple of 2. Uh, we have multiples of 2 here. Uh, which is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Uh, so we have 5 out of 10. So that is even chances. So this is going to be uh, joined with the even chances. Right. Now question number 18, class 4 sells cakes to raise money for charity. Here is class 4 cake sale. Uh, on this side we have number of cakes left, right? Uh, so this side we have time. Uh, write down how many cakes they sell between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. From here to here, how many they, uh, uh, they, they sell. Uh, so at 10 a.m., 10 a.m. how many were left? Uh, and am 100 were left there were 200 total right out of 200 they sold 100 so at 100 uh, sorry 10 am uh, how many cakes sold 100 were sold right and at 11 80 were so uh, sorry 80 left 100 left here then here 80 left so how many more they sold uh, 20 more so total will be 100 and 20 cakes so they have uh, they sell 120 cakes between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Uh, I think uh, we should not write down 120 uh, because he is asking how many cakes were sold between 10 a.m. from 10 they, they were sold before so they will be 20 20 cakes between here the difference is 20 Estimate the number of cakes left at 1.30 p.m. Uh, 1.30 p.m. it should be somewhere in the middle here. So you can see looking at the graph if you go this way. So this is going to be 50. So we can say 50 here. Question 19. Uh, Olivier spends $238 on 14 equally priced tickets for music concert. Find the cost of each ticket. So we are just going to divide this 238 by 14 so let me show you 238 by 14 so 14 times 1 is here then uh, subtract uh, this is 9 13 minus 4 is 9 so 8 14 times 7 is 98 so answer is dollar 17 right now number 20 the sum of the numbers in the circle is written uh, in the square in the diagram so this and this when you add you get this one like let you see uh, 1.4 plus 1.2 is 2.6 that is written in the circle here so use the same rule to complete the diagram now here we have to fill all these gaps first of all we will go with this right we have two out of three here so total is 11.8 
minus seven point five. So eight minus five is three. So then this is um, this is going to be ten here. Ten minus seven is also three. So three point three. So when you add three point three and this. Uh, Uh, seven point five. You are going to get eleven. No, sorry. There is no carry here. So this is going to be four. Four point three. So this is four point three here. So four point three plus seven point five. Right. Uh, so then we can go this side again. So twelve point five minus four point three. Five minus three is two. Twelve minus four is eight. Eight point two. Right. When you add eight point two and four point three, you are going to get this one. Uh, now you add these two. Eight point two plus seven point five. Five plus two seven. Fifteen point seven is going to be the final answer. So for that's it for this video. Remaining question we will do in the next one. I hope you guys understood everything. If there is anything, let me know. Uh, I will wait for your comments about the video. And please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you so much, guys. God bless you. See you in the next video.